welcome back. Uh, now we are going to speak about universities. What's next? Together we have, we have Mrs. Eda Cela and Elvira Fetahu from Alexander Giovanni University, El Basan. Welcome Mrs. Fetahu, welcome Mrs. Cela. Hello, Ms. Cella. Hello. Hello, Ms. Uh, I know you have a presentation for us today. Yes, we have a presentation for you today. Or is yours? Hi, everyone. Um, hello. Uh, I'm very happy to be part um, of this conference. Actually, first of all, I would like to thank you all the organizers. It's, uh, it's really very nice uh, to participate in this conference. And of course, uh, I uh, see that you have done an extra, extraordinary work, guys. So uh, thank you to all of you. Um, I am the vice director of the University of El Basan and um, I'll make a short intro speech for our institution. And afterwards, uh, our presentation will be continued by uh, Ada. Uh, in the name of uh, the rector of the university, uh, Professor uh, Topi, and uh, in my personal name, uh, I thank you for uh, inviting us and uh, making us part of this uh, conference. Our institution is one of the most important institutions in the countries. And um, of course, that having this uh, responsibility uh, is really uh, important to us and uh, uh, determines our work as well. Um, our university uh, has uh, many programs uh, to offer to its students. And of course, the students are the most important thing in our work. So beside programs uh, and beside uh, uh, the, the services that we offer to them, important is also their career, uh, consulting, career advising, uh, in order, in order, do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you perfectly. Okay. Um, so I was saying that um, uh, the students are our uh, most important thing. So we care a lot to offer them uh, the most uh, updated uh, programs uh, compared um, to the requests of the uh, trade, to the working trade, I mean, and also uh, to advise them as they should in order to have a very successful career path uh, in the future. Uh, toward this uh, last thing, uh, we have uh, done actually this academic year, which is also something that will be uh, absolutely uh, more developed in the future, um, a step toward the collaboration of a university with uh, the business world, uh, which is uh, really very challenging, but of course is uh, very important to us and very important to the career development of our students. Of course, we evaluate uh, um, the, the youth as a very um, as a key, as a key bone to the development of society. So this is not just a duty to um, to make them uh, the, their career successful, but also to make this, the, them leaders uh, in the future for um, a successful society. Uh, in this word, I want to launch you uh, for the first time the creation in the next month. We have just started with some steps, but the creation of the uh, um, business uh, consulting board of our university, which will be a new board now uh, with uh, the development uh, of uh, new strategies toward the career development of students and also uh, meeting some of the strategic goals of our university as well. Uh, this board will be composed uh, by uh, uh, different uh, members, which will be representatives of uh, different sectors and industry uh, in uh, our uh, community, in the municipality of El Basan. There will be representatives of the business sector most important one, the most important um, entrepreneurs, successful ones, which can transmit their success to motivate our students, which can provide their businesses to support our students, not only in career development, not only in training, but of course, as a future possibility to employ them in their entrepreneurship. So 
um, this is one of the things that uh, we proudly uh, participated in this conference today to announce it as really a new and big step toward um, the career youth development and the development of our students. Of course, for better details uh, and more specific details, Ada afterwards will explain it to all the participants. From my side, I want to thank you again for inviting me here. Uh, I want to thank you again for making the University of Elbasan part of these initiatives. We really appreciate them. And of course, we are really looking forward to have future collaborations in this regard. For a better presentation, I would like all of the participants to uh, have a look at a video, which is a representing video of our institution and want to thank you all of us for, um, uh, for, my, for my speech and uh, wish all of you good luck on all the presentations and all the participants in this conference. Thank you very much. Uh, so shall we proceed? The city of Elbasan is Alexander Giovanni, the institution of the University of Marsimor and the Council of the Republic of Shqipëris, from the University of the Mendoza of Vendit for the practice of MSUs and the specialists and students of the training in the future of the students. Success to you, my students. We are going to be able to perform the performance of our team in Bronza and Shqipëris. We are going to be able to perform the performance of the mobility of Erasmus Plus for all the faculties and the program of the students. In this case, the student of the number of students is in the same way. We are going to study in the University of Elbasan, because we are going to study in the study of the program, which is going to study in the program of the specialist. The program of the study is going to be very good, and it is going to be very good. In the University of Elbasan, the academic personnel is the best of the students. They are professionals in the same way, and in all of the students, we are going to be one. Këtu në gjitha vete, ne jemi të përfajsuar, ka struktura dhe dedikuar për ne të zërin dhe gjohet. Së bashku organizojmë aktivitetet social e kulturore duke pasuruar jetën tonë studentore. Unë së qëta të studioj tu pasi ndi e mirë dhe jo e para gjukuar. Kjo universitet ofron letësira për personat me nevojët të veçanta, ndjekë politika të mbërtetis financiare dhe gjithë përfshiljes. Gjatë studimeve të mija në këtë universitet, kam patur mundësi të rritem profesionalisht duke ndjekur trajnime dhe kualifikime për gjatë të gjithë viteve akademike. Më është dhe mundësia që të bëj praktika profesionale në institucione më prestigioze dhe kjo gjë më ka bërë më të letë integrimin tim në tregën e punës. Në Universitetin e Elbasanit, mësimi zhvillohet në auditor modern, laborator me kushtë bashkohore, kundërture teoria me praktikën. Ambient e universitar është i përstatshën për të gjithë dhe te për mikë kujtës. Thuria Universitetin e Elbasanit ka një nga rritje të dukshme në shumë fusha të vëndarisë e procesit të mësimor dhe kërkimor. Universiteti është ngritër mbi një traditë paso të shkollos normale dhe sot ka në përbërit e ti 5 fakultete të cilat ofrojnë në 97 programe studimi prej të cilave. 38 programe studimi në bachelor, 16 programe studimi master i shkencave, 34 programe studimi master profesional, 7 programe me karakter profesional, 2 programe studimi të doktoraturës në albanologi. Eja në Universitetin e Elbasanit. 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 That was a very interesting video. Mrs. Chela, you want to continue? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for the organizers. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's the second year that I'm participating in the youth conference. So it was such a great experience last year for all the commitment that we took um, and uh, how we managed to fulfill all of them. So in the name of uh, University of Edbasan and personally of mine, thank you very much to all of you. Um, I'm very happy that we could uh, share this uh, video today with you. Uh, we prepared it uh, in very difficult conditions due to uh, the COVID situation, um, because this academic year uh, it started difficult for all, uh, for all of us, and also including all um, young people, uh, high school uh, students um, at the city of Elbasan. 
but uh, we are, uh, let's say, having a lot of lessons from uh, from this situation. That also organizing this kind of activities uh, are important to bring people together and bind minds together. Um, okay. As regarding for our uh, presentation, we would like to um, continue. Uh, um, let's say presenting once again that how University of Elbasan developed from uh, um, the normal school and then to the high pedagogical institute, concluding today composed of five faculties, starting from uh, human sciences, natural science, educational science, economics, and the youngest faculty of technical medical sciences. What we offer is a full package of 97 study programs, including first cycle of bachelor study programs, master ones, both professional and scientific ones, Ones. And also the third cycle of studies offering PhD study programs um, in, uh, in albanology. Uh, but we always, during our strategy of development of the institution, we ask ourselves what to do next. Based on the law of higher education institutions in Albania, um, the higher education institutions have um, missions, uh, focus to create and develop, to transmit um, and protect knowledge through teaching and scientific uh, research. To form uh, and graduate high specialists and prepare new scientists as long as they fit our study programs. To provide equal opportunities and benefits from higher education. That's why uh, our um, policies are social and including all uh, students or based of needs, based of competencies. Also, the mission of higher education, the mission of University of Elbasan is to contribute to the economic, social and cultural development at the national and regional level. Uh, that's why, um, again, all partners participating in this conference and also um, uh, during our day life, uh, we uh, strongly collaborate with those who have a, a, a direct impact of our economical life, social life and educational life in the city of Elbasan. It is important to have as a mission and the higher education institution the support and strategic priorities uh, and developments of the country take into the consideration the development that Albania is doing lately uh, for the integration to the European uh, Union. And one important point is also to integrate teaching with scientific, um, scientific research. To realize uh, this mission, we uh, have academic freedom, okay, that consists on uh, organizing teaching and research based on innovation and creative um, activities. We have the academic freedom to design and develop study programs and to define areas of research and activities, and also to organize the process of promotion of the academic staff. We do that through collaborations and partners that we have not only at national level, but also at the international um, ones. Is this enough? That's the question we do to ourselves. Why not uh, to pass at the next phase, to collaborate with the business sector, to have a higher impact on that education for uh, vocational education and training for our students and staff, to focus ourselves on soft skills, the ones needed for the very harsh labor market that our students face after graduation, how to promote innovation and training and make better entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurs uh, at um, graduated University of, um, of Elbasan. Um, in um, one meeting that we had a couple of um, a months ago, the, uh, the rector of University of Elbasan emphasized that the collaboration of university and the business sector has always been crucial for us. This coming year, this collaboration will see an increased attention, which comes as demand of both parts, significantly from the business sector, which has to be more innovative today's business environment. Uh, this is why, as the vice rector emphasized at the start of this meeting, that we had the idea to take the first initiative to create the business consulting board at the University of Elbasan. This is the very first initiative of a public university towards consolidation of institutional collaboration with the business sector at the city of Elbasan. The parties, so uh, the business sector uh, from uh, the city of Elbasan and the university, with the desire to decide institutional relations of cooperation and interest of partners 
to promote higher education, scientific research, and to increase the capacity of academic staff and students, they put together the ideas for mutual report, uh, support to carry out the activities with implementation uh, of uh, applicable legislation on higher education and common interests. Our big concept is that uh, our big concept is that uh, through the collaboration um, and the institutional agreement, uh, we are going to establish and function the business consulting board. It will consist of 15 selected entrepreneurs from different industries in the Elveson region who bring a model of extraordinary success and experience. These entrepreneurs, starting with you, Elvis, starting with Ellie Travel, <laughs> Uh, are the leaders that share the best practice and agree to cooperate with the University of Elbasan, extending the cooperation to all areas of our um, activities. Of course, that we have common interests. The general principle that will lead uh, this, um, uh, this collaboration is it's going to be concluded to facilitate the interinstitutional relations for cooperation and coordination of common activities. Uh, this agreement is going to serve as a basis of cooperation that does not create legal rights or obligations. The rights and obligations of the parties will not affect their daily activities. We will recognize the request of exchanging information, cooperation, initiatives involving students and academic staff. What is important for us is to bring a new impact, to bring a new um, area of collaboration between the public and the private sector at, um, at the city of Elbasan as a need of the business sector, as a need of our uh, institution. The functioning of, a of the board will be based on four phases. Uh, the first of them is um, consulting the University of Elbasan, so the members of the board will, serve, will serve as expertise. Secondly, uh, they will uh, create communication bridges between the labor market, between the students' needs, between the capacities and offering uh, expertise from uh, different um, business sectors to have common initiatives um, and activities, like, for example, to have a, a work and study fair, uh, to promote uh, our institutions and collaboration, national and international conferences or organizations. And what is more important, common initiatives for curricular development and how to make better professionals for the labor market. That's the, labor, the market uh, that students um want to integrate themselves after the after the graduation what is different in this group work is the involvement of uh, young people it is um, how to do a better work and how uh, to better collaborate um, with an impact for the com community at the city of Elbasan. so let's say that the direct uh, beneficiaries in this case are going to be the young people uh, we do this kind of activities once a year where we promote our study programs in different high schools um, at the city of Elbasan, even a national level, but let's focus on the city of Elbasan. And what we see is the majority part of our students come from Elbasan region. So we don't want them to be only students, but we want them to be contributors to our development. So that's uh, the place where ideas are going to be evaluated. The young people, students, are going to evolve through the new ideas they have to express their needs as we have also um, a board of students that serve as um, a place where students can uh, express themselves needs and ideas. And what's important to invest our energies and capacities on develop student and young people's skills. What we expect from this collaboration with the consulting, the business consulting board, uh, is to have uh, the business actively involved um, in the higher education um, institution in the city of Elbasan. Uh, we want to uh, update and um, develop uh, the curricula that we currently have in order to better serve to the students and the, to the labor market in the city as well to develop and to create new research activities where staff and uh, experts from business sector can serve as policy makers to uh, propose new initiatives to the municipality of Elbasan or other uh, 
bodies that uh, are the policy makers in this case to go international. What we want to do is to expand the collaboration and to share our best practices with our partners and beyond. To have open lectures where the experts from business sector can share their best ideas, their best practices with the students and motivate them to do the same thing. And um, to create a study in work fair, this is going to be a periodical activity when students can better know the business sector, they can present it themselves. What is important is to create a bridge of communication between students and to discover new talents. Students participating in this business like um, internships. Uh, this is going to be one of our strongest point of commitment because what we want to do um, is to uh, present uh, the students in our curricula to the actively involvement of uh, the labor market. So they do not take only the theoretical skills, but they can also use these theoretical skills in the, the practice world. Um, and in the business world, I mean. Um, in this case, for more information, we would like you um, to visit the website of University of Elbasanunien.edu.al, where you can find a lot of information regarding the history development of the institution, uh, regarding the um, um, study programs that we offer, kind of activities that we do uh, to promote. So feel free to contact us through the website as well. Okay, now we are open for questions. So do we have any, so I don't think we have any question uh, from the panel. I want to thank Mrs. Chela and Mrs. Mm -hmm. for your very interesting presentation and for your time. It was a pleasure. Mm -hmm.